Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Matla Camp. Go to greatness. Rivalry game here between Colorado and Colorado State for the Rocky Mountain Showdown. Pretty cool tradition. I love Colorado and the gold and black. If it's excitement you're looking for, well you've come to the right place. As the early Matt camp's going to get a lot of playing time continues. today, but we'll see if they actually throw on his side early on here. Looks to right pass. on. Got a chance. With him at the tackles. This is definitely a fun game to play, and, and now really, really starting to enjoy the game, getting more used to my sliders, and Thomas. Even though they don't really matter necessarily, because I'm not really controlling anybody, just an alley camp, but the plays are being pretty pretty realistic. I haven't seen too many warping or anything like that, so pretty happy with it so far. Uh, Matt camp is uh, in the weak zone coverage here. My depth perception is off. I think I kind of jumped that bad, hoping there's going to be a laser right up over the top of his head and he could just get it, but... Still looking for that pick, man. Need to get that pick. They need to get it inside the 45. It's hard to find the camp a couple times. Uh, I don't think I lost any recording on him, but he was playing everywhere today. So formation subs and everything use like camp speed a lot. Doesn't help that his coverage isn't the greatest, but still. All things considered, uh, Colorado State is a very strong team. Um, and maybe Colorado is just that bad, I don't know. But I had some, I think the, the team had some trouble against, uh, against these guys. And this is a pretty fun game just to watch and be a spectator. And here, um, you know, you can't do player lock on the kickoff, but LeCamp got his m tackle right here. Make a good play on special teams, so I'm happy with that. And uh, I'm sorry about the screen freeze there, but I'm happy with that. And which results in more plays in the, you know, in the series. So, of course, he didn't seem to throw to him, like I said. Their quarterback was was had a pretty solid game. Thomas, to throw. see, I actually had good coverage. I think the quarterback actually just looked over this way, and Lacan made a good play. Oh, that might be just because I'm biased, I guess. Here's another kickoff here, and I didn't catch this, but I started we just recording the entire game footage, which was a little tough for editing-wise, so I'm not going to do that for next game, so I apologize the quality's not as good. But here, LeCamp just got that tackle after the I was turning around. Here he is right here, making that tackle. He's definitely in the thick of the action on the special teams part. I wish he would be just more of a more of an impact player on the, you know, just in the, the regular side on the non-special teams, and just on the offense. And here, he has his chance right here. Blew the coverage, could have made the tackle, but didn't do that. And you see it's in the fourth quarter, and they're driving to, to uh, tie the game up. So that was his true test right there. And, you know, we saw what LeCamp really needs to work on as a freshman, so... And I think the way I'm getting this set up as realism is concerned is I think it's pretty accurate. You know, I wish EA could kind of follow my lead. I'm not trying to be big-headed or anything. I just think Road to Greatness, or I'm sorry, Road to Glory is, is just kind of a sham. You get you become like a 99 overall, you know, player within uh, just a couple, couple of days, you know, if you're playing it. And it's kind of unfortunate. I don't think it's realistic that you can just keep you know, challenging other players to take their spot. That's already natural, and that's something the you shouldn't be allowed to do. I know it's no other way to implement it, but still. And here I kind of regret not being staying on my side right there with the camp. Uh, I kind of shifted inwards and should have just stayed on the outside. Could have made a play, but... 
here. The camp's not on the field, but this was the, the go-ahead touchdown over time. They played a good game, and, you know, as a result, they won the game, and this was the last play of the game from Colorado. Hanson threw the ball up for grabs, batted down. 31-24. Heartbreaker. Sorry for the jumbled highlights here. Cinematics, so to speak, and uh, yeah, but it's pretty cool to see. Um, anyway, EA Sports, I guess you know they're they're improving their their game flow. I, I understand what they're trying to do, but I think they need to just use a little bit more realism, to be honest. But you know, I played Madden recently. I'm getting really quick. I'm, I'm excited for it. Actually, it's actually not that bad of a game, and with the right sliders, it's actually gonna be good. I'm not gonna come out with sliders. Anyways, uh, link up. Three total tackles, one solo, two assisted. That's pretty much it. Either way, uh, happy days. Good day and good game, but losing, never a good thing. And I apologize here for the loading screen. I didn't expect that to just to pop up like that. Um, but I guess I can segue into a little bit more about Madden. It's just, uh, it's just a solid game, I think. Um, there are some, some messed up values and definitely some glitches. Go figure, it's EA, what do you expect? But I think it's playable, and uh, you know I'm looking forward to it. If you know LeCamp makes it even into the NFL, maybe he'll get a shot, uh, even on a practice team or something like that. But yeah, um, you know next game as you can see is against uh, Ohio State. That's gonna be really fun. He's gonna be in the horseshoe. Um, I really get to experience that. I'm excited. You know I don't know if you guys know I, I don't really play. Um, big teams and then play now or anything like that. I try to keep the experience at a low level so that when I get to experience it in Dynasty or Franchise Mode, that's when I experience it. I do this for all my games, so I don't try to watch Super Bowl videos on YouTube or something like that that guys have played, so yeah, it's a good experience. Anyway, if there's anything um, that you want to comment on, just rate, comment, and subscribe. No big deal. I don't really care. Just this is for my uh, franchise report on Operation Sports, uh, one of the best places for video gaming that you can find. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's uh, camp will do good. Thanks.